Good day, friends, and welcome to episode 20 of the Swamp Vikings. I'm Icon, and I'm so happy to see an anniversary episode happening. It's always great to have anniversary episodes. So, 20 episodes in, that means we're almost uh, hitting the uh, three weeks mark on that uh, project here, and um, I'm happy. I mean, wow. We're uh, already that far down the road. I mean,. How cool is that? All right, but today's uh, work will be um, building a little monument. Uh, Lozano has been uh, promoted to uh, the first rank, which uh, yields some side casting uh, rewards, and Lozano will therefore learn the stun skill. Requires, oh yeah use there just uh had the wrong person marked okay so lozano has now the uh stun skill stun is one of my favorite side casts because it's simple yet super effective with stun you can just uh nail down uh single ele enemies so effectively i really like that okay for, apart from that my guys here are running low a little bit on food. So, hmm, uh, muffalo is tasty. How quick is a muffalo though? Four and a half cells per second. Hmm. Helixian, they don't look tasty. They sure don't. I'll uh, obviously have to uh, manually hunt a bit. Because, uh,. Those little animals here won't be uh, providing enough food for the whole colony. Nevertheless, I will uh, hunt the small game. Why not? But um, yeah, tomorrow it's uh, time to either hunt. Well, okay, maybe both. Maybe it's not an either. Maybe it's a. Uh, it's a decision of uh, many things there. Okay, so uh, let's bring Ragnolf and Tiberius. I think uh, that should be enough to bring down a mad stallion. So uh, let's. Uh, oh my gosh! Gotta say, Ragnolf's eyes might have cataracts, but she's uh, still hell of a shot. Gotta say, one day I might be uh, finding something to recover her eyesight. That would be really cool. Or, well, after all, bionics are always an option. There we go. Keeping things nice and tidy. Alright. A. I can't wait for that cleaner to be, uh, to be, um, done. Or, well, no. I can't wait for the power for my cleaner to be done. <laughs> That's much more, uh, correct there. But, well. So, yeah, Ragnolf is cutting those stones. No, nobody's cutting stones. I need somebody cutting stones. Tiberius, uh, you are perfect. You are a perfect fit for that job. There we go. Ironhead still tailoring tons of money for this place. I'm, I'm quite fine with that, you know. Because this way I can be sure that whenever a, call, uh, a caravan will hit town, Carrying a lot of, uh, um, carrying a lot of uh, goods that I want to have. I got plenty of money and uh, other things uh, which make it easy. And there's also going to be a uh, royal tribute collector someday soon. I want to sell off an Italia. I really like that uh, fact that I came up with the. Uh, with the idea of just uh, selling off prisoners for glory. Because that just um, feels very uh, right to do, you know. Oh well, maybe we're doing it tomorrow, hey? So Hornet Slayer might be, uh, wow, not a good shot, but uh wanted to say, but he learns uh, rather quickly there. Nice. Come on, can we just uh, sweep away at least the puke and the blood? I always feel like uh, I can't live with with uh, with regular dirt, but uh, puke and such on the floors. I really dislike that. And uh, there's another uh, food poisoning. 
So Lozano, uh, how about sweeping out that room, eh? Okay. I didn't know that Iron Hat was so bad with cooking. Well, whatever. Okay. Let's uh, hunt those uh, muffalos outside. So many of food poisonings, though. Oh well. How fast is Rocknell? 4.6 cells per second. Okay. <sighs> well, we need that food. We really need that. Okay. Alright, so I got the uh, quest here done. There's more honor for uh, Lozano now. That's good. Wait a sec. No, that's uh, this quest here done. So uh, I'm finally allowed to deconstruct that thing here. Okay, nice. Let's do that. Because I really don't uh, want to... Um... Kairos Fenrir Chase. I don't want that thing here. Okay, so, uh... Goodwill from the Settler faction and some... Hyperweave. Well... Alright, let's deconstruct all that. Most important question is how far away is it? A Fenrir, well... And Griffin went into Sad Wander. Okay. Looks like I have to delay my uh, my hunting plans, nevertheless. Or... Well, is there anybody a good uh, long-range shot here and is not suffering from the pukies? Yeah, Iron Head. Okay. Well, I think Iron Hat is a good candidate for uh, for a little hunting uh, job here. Awesome. Let's go. I'll. Uh, a hunting party has arrived. They will hunt here and uh, move on afterwards. Never had that before. All right. As long as they're not hunting my animals. Are these guys really uh, hunting uh, wild pots here? Yeah, obviously. That's gonna be a slaughter. I'll uh, probably. I should even uh, consider um, retreating my own people here. There's a simple reason for that. Um, these, uh, okay, Hornet went into an insulting spree, great. Um, if one of these uh, goes into Manhunter, we already had to, uh, to fight with something like that. Here we go, okay. Okay, that's gonna be uh, Exactly what it was talking about. Alright, that Toad Slayer guy. Well, let's rescue him. Maybe not uh, Hornet though. <laughs> yeah, sure. Now they blame it on me, those fools. As usual, as usual. I mean, it's uh, pretty close uh, to idiocy to uh, to do what these guys are doing here, so... Uh... Is 
because there's there's a absolutely no chance for these guys are uh, surviving this situation here all right let's uh, drop down a uh, sleeping spot here and uh, okay she's gonna rescue him the hard way <laughs> okay let's see it's gonna die in less than an hour I don't care, honestly. If I really would have wanted to save that guy, I would have uh, taken uh, a. I would have uh, used more, um, more of my energy than that. So Salamander Slayer is uh, dying three hours to <laughs> serve them right. I I did that once uh, fighting a wild pod. I, I won't be doing that again. I know why. And that thingy here uh, will ultimately uh, just uh, turn back to normal, I know. I hope. So if these guys are bleeding to death, it's uh, not so much my fault, obviously. Alright, interesting. So, uh, a bullpup DMR, though. Nice. Lots of food as well. Good, good. The only real trouble with that, um, these uh, wild pods are really hard to kill. Triggered one of my traps, though. Yes, it, it takes a lot of traps uh, for for uh, one wild pot to be taken down. A few episodes ago, we uh, we tried to <laughs> never to do that again. If I don't have to, caravan ambush. Okay. Um. Drop down a uh, meditation spot for a good old Lozano. Bang. So. If we want to, we can attack them. That's really far away, though. Okay. I, I gotta be careful with that stuff here because I know what can happen if I don't. Uh... Oh my god. So, ignore roof area, please. Guys. Oh my god. They try to build a roof over all that. There you. Stop watching your little munchkins for a moment there. Oh gosh, it's coming to town. Okay, so uh, sadly I got to take care about that. So um, yeah, the hu hunting party's uh, demise is now uh, upon us. But uh, I think we should be doing a lot better than the last time now. Smack. I just hope that uh, my weapons that I'm using uh, in general are now a lot heavier than they were before. It's just what I'm hoping here. And, uh, okay. What? That uh, thing took down my wolf with one blow? Oh, gosh. I already hate those guys uh, aggravating... Uh, the wild pot for no particular reason at all because I'm going to lose a lot of my animals now for uh, with, without any uh, bigger benefits it's not even uh, worth it you know ah my poor wolves my animus box is going to die too there's uh, not much I can do about that anyways you know These freaks. So it turns out, uh, I obviously need a, uh, um, a kind of fortress where I can, uh, lock my animals in to make sure they're not going to die. 
in situations like these. All right, hopefully uh, my last remaining wolf won't miscarry because of that. So sad about that. These fools. Yeah, well. Let's harvest more of those. And uh, haul a few things here and there. Okay. Oh, I feel so bad about this. But at least... Uh, Totosana is still with us, but uh, yeah, very, very unfortunate to say the least, especially since it's uh, something uh, I don't really consider myself uh, responsible for, you know. <laughs> The only uh, thing I could have done before would have been to uh, hunt that wild pot down before it gets close to the colony, but uh, thanks, but no thanks. Uh, got better things to do. Alright, so let's do a few things here. So We are seven people, therefore uh, we need 14 meals at any point. I like to do uh, two meals per person, which is, uh, as far as I know, still a lot more than you really need, but uh, I don't care. I'll rather, uh, I'm always like, uh, rather too much food than not enough food. Yeah, she miscarried due to poor health, great. So, last of the wolves, too bad. Stupid thing, one-shot my uh, other wolf there. <laughs> How much time on that quest here? 3.3 days, no problem. Therefore. Guys, you're not supposed to build a friggin... Uh, roof here anyways. Why is it still so uh, important for them? All right, so let's uh, let's do this there. Hope this is going to work out better now. There we go. So Lozano is now uh, eligible to uh, be a uh, acolyte, but at the same time, I don't feel like. Uh, why are they still building roofs? I don't get it. No friggin' roofs here. Are you not listening to me? Only roofs I want to see are these. Everything else remains unroofed. It's not that hard, isn't it? All right. The roof uh, roofing system of this game is uh, always uh, feels always a bit weird to me, but whatever. So uh, let's see how much uh, locked wood is uh, lying around here. Thirteen point five k. God. Well, well. Seventeen units of heal root available though. That's really, really feeling good. Okay. Let's speed up things a bit. And a few corpses rotting in the storage. Feeding kibble to Melissa, yeah, that's okay. I keep feeling like, what? And then I remember uh, that Melissa is a uh, actually an animal, so it's okay. Mm. 
There we go. Nice and yummy kibble for the animals. Okay. Oh, so many things uh, not getting done here. I really feel like the, the workload on a uh, swamp colony is pretty huge. I really notice that now more and more. That uh, the raw workload on, on a swamp colony is just uh, insane. Like, uh, I feel like we we had to work for that single monument here so long. It's uh, really, really noticeable to put into positive words. Horrible would be uh, what I really want to say. But well, that's okay. At least the days are passing by quite quickly this way. Still very sad about the loss of my wolf still. Because that means I'll be only replenishing my wolves if there's uh, something good happening here. And uh, you guys, do you even know how long it takes for a component to rot down to 41 to 70, from 70 to 41? I know how long, way too long, to understand why you folks are not just uh, hauling that stuff back home. Yeah, so, um, yay hooray, at least most of the wood is uh, inside my base. <laughs> oh my god, I think I feel, I feel like I need to uh, get rid of that somehow. Hmm. Well, well. Anyways, I think uh, it's time to set up the caravan here. I really want to do some trade with those people over there, mainly because it's uh, so uh, lucrative to do so, you know. And therefore, I'm just going to ride those three alpacas. Well, not ride or well no let's uh, take those four animals it's even better and uh lozano and addison will uh go on a long long journey let's see i want to bring up a, as much food as possible here to make sure they're not going to starve on the road because it's going to be a long road Alright, now then, I'm mostly interested in getting rid of all these uh, pieces of clothing and buying something good for us. Alright, let's send them away. Alright. I'll just hope we're uh, able to find something nice over there. The new caravan packing spot here is uh, performing really good. Okay. If I have to be uh, that unlucky with them. Um, with many things, let's just uh, see what kind of luck I can force by trading. Okay. One thing I really like about this colony is um, whenever I feel bad for uh, anybody uh, being dead, I just have to remember that these guys are Vikings and uh, they consider everybody dying uh, going to a better place anyway. So uh, they're not dead. They're in Valhalla. And they're uh, most likely quite happy about that. So uh, 
that's how I uh, prefer to see it. Um, yeah, Griffin uh, on Wardening is absolutely useless because she can't talk. Good thing that I uh, noticed that at some point. Okay, so uh, we have to uh, put up Ragnolf and Tiberius on that job just to, to make sure somebody's feeding Natalia. That's uh, the main thing here. Alright, they're even needing three full days for uh, one trip, but uh, I don't mind. I don't mind. Okay. Did I send away all my cooks? Yes, I did. <laughs> Lozano and Edison are my cooks. Dang. Okay, so Ragnolf has to uh, fill the gap here. No problem. So, uh, cooking for simple meals, and she's using veggies. I don't like that. Bang. Simple meals are for preferably uh, made out of uh, just pure meat. I feel like that's... Uh, this way, your um, your materials uh, together are... Well, no. Uh, let's restart that sentence. I feel like uh, meat is one of those uh, materials which is uh, easy to gather. Where, whereas all the other uh, materials, um, like... Uh, forage and uh, other food stock are I feel like harder to come by because you need to uh, either plant them or uh, buy them there's a lot of uh, things which give me the impression that uh, the um, that meat is the lowest tier of uh, food in the game if that makes any sense all right, let's haul that bullpup DMR back home. I really want to. I mean, come on, that's a, uh, that's a, that's a uh, automatic weapon. Yeah. So, um, Fox, why, why are you doing this to me? Why are you making me kill you? Come on, man. I feel bad for you, poor uh, folks there. I really do feel bad for you. But whatever. I'm done with feeling bad for him. Let's just make sure we picked up everything necessary here. Ever since my people uh, went on starvation that one uh, episode where I... Uh, trusted the uh, automatic food stock uh, situation there too much ever since I have to uh, manually recheck all these things because I've lost my faith <laughs> all right I'm really happy um, with uh, all these um, herbal medicines stocking up in my storage giving me a really good feeling towards the future because uh, you know so Ironhead is now uh, busy with other things. You know what? I'll just uh, put Ironhead onto the research bench too, because I just noticed uh, he has a level of three and he has a great memory. That doesn't mean that he learns uh, faster, but if he ever uh, gets something over the level of 10, he uh, loses the knowledge slower. And especially with science jobs, I always feel like... Uh, I like to use those people which are uh, losing their skills slower or uh, gaining their skills faster if I don't uh, have passionate people available. Because uh, with science you learn rather quickly. I'm always pretty surprised uh, how quickly people uh, hit high science levels even though they are uh, completely uh, non-passionate or something like that. It's, uh, happening. It happened quite often that exactly these people were uh, sitting on a research level of 15 at some point. And Ragnolf is food binging. That's okay for me. It's not like uh, food is a... We're, we're short on food here. All right, friends, it's time to say goodbye yet another time. I'm enjoying my time here a lot. This, uh, this tribal beginning here takes uh, always quite some time. 
until uh, you get going. Like I always feel like the tribal start is one of the slowest starts in game. But at the same time, I really enjoy that. All right, so Ragnolf, Hornet Slayer, and Tiberius are uh, now ill again. All right, dang. Ragnolf, Tiberius, and uh, who was it again? Hornet Slayer. All right. Good thing that this uh, means that all my uh, doctors are now... Um, Ill. All right, let's. Uh, I gotta arrest Rognolf here. I have no choice. All right, let's uh, tend her. All right, and let's release her. So uh, <laughs> I was uh, right there outrowing. So friends, I'm going to take care of my colonists in a moment. And thanks so much for watching. And uh, feel free to leave a comment down below, leave a like or a subscribe if you want to help out. I'd be super happy if you do, and I sure don't mind if you don't. So uh, take care. Hope we're com you're coming back again soon. And see you then. Bye bye.